In 2011, the Super Sentai series celebrated its 35th anniversary with Kaizoku Sentai Gokaiger, a huge celebration of everything that came before it, featuring at least one returning actor from all of the previous seasons, characters that have become huge fan favorites, some of the most watched and beloved clips of Tokusatsu to many fans, and of course, one of the longest lasting gimmick items to ever exist in either a Super Sentai or even a Kamen Rider toy line. These of course were the Ranger Keys. Keeping with Gokaiger's pirate motif, Ranger Keys allowed the team to copy or pirate the powers that Key was based off of and transform into that suit. The Keys themselves had two modes, the obvious Key mode featuring the logo for the team and the Ranger mode, which was a small figure-like statue that was a recreation of said Ranger suit. Ranger Keys were huge. By this point in Super Sentai history, there had never been a gimmick item that took over a toy line's functionality and playability as seen in a Kamen Rider toy line. By this point, even gimmicks and Rider were in their early stages, but successes had been seen in both the Rider cards from Kamen Rider Decayed and of course the Gaia memories from Kamen Rider Double. For seven consecutive years, Bandai Japan continued to release new Ranger Key sets, making it an unprecedented Toku toy line. 2018 was the first year since they began that neither a Japanese nor American Ranger Key release occurred. And that wasn't even the end of the toy line, as they made a return in 2021 for Gokaiger's 10th anniversary. Today, we are looking at the history of the Japanese Ranger Keys. Hi, my name is Mark, I'm Alem, I'm here to talk about Ranger Keys. See, Ranger Keys! So how did I get into collecting? I got into collecting Ranger Keys as soon as Gokaida dropped. I think it was maybe just a little bit before when they showed the preview of it. But when they dropped Ranger Keys completely, I was just absolutely gobsmacked by how amazing this marketing was and how the, the keys were just absolutely fantastic. So I started getting into collecting as soon as Gokaija dropped. As soon as we had the Mobirits, the belt buckle, the uh, the pistol, everything that came along, um, I absolutely loved it and I needed to collect everything. Going all the way back to the beginning, some of the earliest mentions for what would eventually become the Ranger Keys can be found during the Gokaiger rumor cycle in the fall of 2010. Here it was reported by none other than the real Matt Hunt slash Dupont himself that the 2011 Sentai series would feature a new key item that would be marketed alongside the continuation of the Daiso card game that started with the gimmick from Tenso Sentai Gosager. By November, the rumors had continued to get closer to what we would actually end up getting, claiming that the Gokaigers, whose name was known by this point, would be using many figures of Red Rangers from the past to transform into these past heroes. December 2011 saw the list of first quarter toys out there, including the new Ranger Key series Henshin Keitai Mobirits, Gokai Gun, Gokai Saber, Gokai Buckle, Ranger Key Set 01, and Ranger Key Set 02. The post with the toy list confirmed that not only would Gash Upon Ranger Keys be compatible with these new deluxe items, but several Ranger Keys would come with most of these. And with that, these were the first batch of Ranger Keys out there, 5 Gokaijers and 7 Legendary Reds, most coming from the recent series before Gokaiger along with a few popular older series. These were all slated to release in February 2011, alongside the start of the show. For these initial releases, they could all be purchased in their own individual items or in special combo sets that included everything you would get on their own, except for the Strong Narukiri set, that included a bonus Gokai Red Mask. By the beginning of the show airing, the second quarter catalogs would leak out online to show the sixth ranger coming to the team, Gokai Silver, and everything he had to offer, from his deluxe Gokai Cellular with the Gokai Silver Ranger Key, the Gold Anchor Key, which featured the helmets of the 15 previous six rangers that came before him, as well as the next two deluxe sets of ranger keys. Set 2 would come with five more reds, Go Red, Ryu Ranger, Abba Red, Vulcan Red, and Ginga Red, while well, set 3 would become the first team set to have all the members in one. Around this time, the Daiso game showed images for Ranger Keys that did yet to be released in the toy line, such as Time Pink and Battle Kenya, which eventually would get physical versions in the long lasting Gash Upon toy line of items. Hey guys, so my name is X Paco, I'm from Ranger Wiki, and yeah, I got into collecting Ranger Keys when I saw Gash Upon sets available in my local mall, local Toys R Us actually, and I remember they were Rider Keys, and I was just like, okay, this is pretty interesting, and Gokaiger was already airing at that time, but I didn't really 
have a feel for what the Ranger keys were like until I actually held them in my hand. So as soon as I got my first Gashapon key, I remember that was a Tajadol combo. I was in love. And I was kind of lucky because you know, Ranger keys were actually quite plentiful where I live in the Philippines. Um, they were available in the secondary market everywhere. They were in the malls, in DX, in Gashapon, and they were just, you know, everybody was collecting them. And it, yeah, it was just a really, really fun time overall. And I got to meet a lot of people over at the Ranger Key Vault and we really we leaned into the whole Gashapon idea and uh, traded with people, sold, bought, you know, that, that whole thing. We really, we really leaned into it. Things would start off light in February 2011 with the first set of Gashapon Ranger Keys retailing for 200 yen each. This saw every key released in the first wave of deluxe items, but with a few more new ones, including those that would be out in deluxe set 2. Brand new inclusions for this set were 5 red, goggle red, and red mask for those pre G Ranger team fans out there. Every gash upon Ranger key required assembly of the key slash hinge piece, the head, and sticker applications for both the chest and the key piece details. Gash upon chest stickers were often prone to not stick well to the blocky shape of the Ranger key's chest design. And over time, they would peel, and in the decades since their original release, often yellow with age given the environment that they are present in. Candy Toy Set 1 released in March 2011, with a very similar lineup to the other options on the market, with the three male Gokaijers, as well as Maji and Deka Red, as their series were the first to get tribute episodes and mecha in the show. Candy Toy Keys, as the name would imply, all came with a little piece of candy, and required only stickery detailing for the black gap between the legs, and a key piece sticker as well. May 2011 would see the release of Gashapon Set EX, including the new keys of Mega Red, Red Hawk, Red Turbo, Red Flash, and Dino Red, along with some that would come later on in the Deluxe Set 4. All else that was released in this time frame was a wave of magazine packing keys, with a Gosei Red in April 2011, Aka Red in May, and Shinken Blue in June. Each of these were of deluxe quality, but unlocked special new sounds in the Mobirates toy, and not the normal team name sound effects that they usually would have had. By the time the summer came along, it was Gokai Silver time. Alongside the release of his deluxe items, it meant Bandai was ready to dive into the six rangers he represented, with Gashapon Set 2 released the same month. This would be the first to include keys exclusive to the Gashapon format, with Boken Silver, who was only available ever in this set. Every other key present here would go on to appear somewhere else soon after, but were all exclusive for a brief period of time, such as Dragon Ranger, who came out at the same time in deluxe format with Gokai Silver's weapon. For July 2011, that's where the merch related to Gokai Silver's Gold Mode would be released, as well as Ranger Key Set 4, which included Tyranno Ranger, Red Racer, Hurricane Red, Battle Japan, and Gosei Red. Which fun fact, when it was released in South Korea a year later for the adaptation Power Rangers Captain Force, the Battle Japan key was swapped out for a deluxe Gokai Green. Ranger Key Set 5 featured the Gold Anchor Key, the one needed to unlock Gokai Silver's Gold Mode as its main feature. Present along with it was a number of six rangers seen from Gashapon Set 2, including Shuri Kenjir, Deka Break, Maji Shine, and Shingen Gold. Around this time saw the very first promotional bonus keys released, in the form of the metallic Tyranna Ranger key, given away with the first release batch of the deluxe Gojujin Mecha. While Gokai Red would surely take the crown for most Ranger Key variants released over the course of the line, the Gold Anchor Key would see a number of variants released as well in the summer of 2011. While the Keyset 5 version was for sure the most show accurate and sized, there was the Deluxe Deluxe one that could actually become a set of armor like in the series for a Gokai Silver figure. There was also the one released in the Narikiri Set 2, a special set of mini Six Ranger changers and weapons that was a follow up to a similar set released for Legendary Reds earlier in April, with a deluxe Maji Red Key. The Gold Anchor Key also made an appearance in Candy Toy Set 2, alongside yet another appearance for Tyranno Ranger and Gokai Silver, and the debut of Gal Silver and Gosei Knight into the Ranger Key toy line. This candy toy version of the anchor key would also be the next magazine packing item, but this time it had a metallic paint job for this release. For August 2011, Bandai must have decided now that the toy line had kicked off and they had finished introducing the 6th ranger, it was time to focus on at the very least all the reds so every Sentai team could be unlocked. However, before fully diving in on that, Candy Toy Set 3 would include a number of repeat keys from previous releases, but with the new inclusion of Operate Killer, showing that both Bandai and Hasbro don't know what this helmet is supposed to look like. 
Gashapon Set 3 had a bunch of newcomers with Spade Ace, Dino Red, Red 1, Change Dragon, Red Falcon, O Red, and Time Red, which when combined with previous releases from earlier would complete all 35 Red Rangers, which meant it was time to release everyone else. September 2011 was when the Gashapon line dived right into exclusive territory with the complete Gow Ranger team, who would be released later with this being the only set to include Kiba Ranger, King Ranger, Mega Silver, and Miss America. With Time Fire and Princess Shink and Red, they only appeared here until future Candy Toy sets. Deluxe got in on the complete team fun with three more sets in September, with set 6 being the core team of Goangers, set 7 the Shinkangers, and set 8 being the Ghost Agers. So I've been a Super Sentai fan since the time around Maji Rangers started, um, but I wasn't really collecting the toys, I was only really watching the show. Um, I didn't really have a source of income at the time because I was like in middle school. So uh, by the time Gokaiju started, that was actually the time when I was graduating high school slash entering college and I got my first part-time job. So I had a source of income, so I decided to buy my first ever Sentai toy from Japan and have it shipped to uh, America. And that was actually my first Ranger key set. It was the Go Anja Ranger key set. I think I bought it on Amazon or something. I, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, it, it was the first time for me, not only my first Ranger key set, but also my first Sentai toy from Japan ever. October 2011 saw the most Ranger Keys released up to this point. Gashapon Set 5 delivered the 7 main Deca Rangers, with this version of Red being the first to finally give the white outline detail to the number 1 on his chest, something seen in the in-show prop of the key but missing from all previous releases. Candy Toy Set 4 gave higher quality versions of the Go On Wings team, as well as Geki Blue making a debut and Tricera Ranger making his only appearance on the toy line. On the deluxe end of things, this is when the big team cannon, the Gokai Galleon Buster, was released. A special item that could read the color codes on the other sides of the keys previously only taken advantage of with the Gokai Saber's alternating colors seen during the final wave and slashing attacks. To go with this new item, a special metallic Gokai Red Ranger key was released, as well as a full set of metallic Gokaijers in Deluxe Ranger Key Set Deluxe. How fancy. A Deluxe Going Gold key would also be included with the final mecha of the show, the Deluxe Mahalkin, with the bonus feature of allowing Ranger Keys to sit in the cockpit of the car to look like they were driving it. For those who didn't like the lower quality of the Gashapon style keys, every remaining Red Ranger who did not have a Deluxe release key up to this point was finally released in a 15 piece Ranger Key Set SP set, with the final Deluxe Red, Ninja Red from Kaka Ranger, being released with the Gokai Ranger box, a replica of the treasure chest prop seen in the show that could fit close to 100 Ranger Keys inside, and the final key of the month coming in the form of the Deluxe Go On Wings key as a first release bonus with the Galleon Buster. For November 2011, Gashapon Set 6 would get right back into it with most of the remaining Maji Rangers, as well as the rest of the Hurricangers and Battle Fever J, with the latter remaining exclusive to this set. December 2011 was when Candy Toy Set 5 released with all exclusives at the time besides Fall Shark, with Clover Keen staying as such for the set. Final Gashapon release coming out the same month was Set 7, including the rest of the Geki Rangers besides Ryo, the first appearance of Wolves Out Fire in Bull Black, Gokai Red, Blue and Green with a new sparkly sticker effect for the chest, and an exclusive Daya Jack and Heart Queen keys to complete the Jacka team. That was it for mainline Gokaiger items. A good number of keys have been able to be released in a number of formats, some getting special giveaway sets, different Gashapon releases, super rare prize giveaways, packings with new sounds with video games and clothes and CDs, but there was a lot of repeating being done. Ranger keys were very popular, so popular in fact to allow them to continue for another year alongside the main Go Busters toy line for 2012. To kick this off would be the January and March 2012 items, the Deluxe Legend of Pirates. This new version of the Changer would allow the next Sentai series to be included as one of the three new Deluxe sets, with the others being complete Deluxe sets for Sun Vulcan and the Core 5 Gal Rangers, now labeled under the new Legend Sentai series. These new sets in the Gashapon side of things especially would be filled with exclusive keys that make the aftermarket prices for them insane. Legend Set 1 included the three Go Busters, a common theme nearly all of these would have, 
all six Gokaijus this time with the sparkly sticker seen in the final main Gashapon set, a re-release for Wolzard Fire, Bull Black, and Melee, but the only place to get Ryo, Zuban, Dekaswan, and Signalman to complete the set of extra heroes. Legend Candy Toy Set 1 included a number of repeat keys, such as Red Buster for good measure, a new Candy Toy Key for Deca Master, previously only seen in Gashapon, a re-release of Gosei Knight, and an alternate way to get the pack and bonus key of the Go on Wings in Big 1, who appeared previously only as a deluxe format in the Daiso fanbook as a pack-in. Legend Gashapon Set 2 was the Gokaiju returning hero set for the most part, being themed around actors who made cameos in the series. For this reason, this is the hardest set to track down, not only for that, but also for how it includes at least one member for a number of teams that otherwise cannot be completed without getting this set. By this time, the deluxe team sets had another few waves of releases. April 2012 released ones for Hurricanger and Bokenger. June had Deca Ranger, Geki Ranger, and Go Buster set 2, including the new Rangers Beat and Stag Buster, as well as the Buddyroid Beat J Stag to keep this set to at least three keys. He marked the first time that a key was made for a non-Ranger character, but this would not be the last by any means, as toy catalogs showed the upcoming release of the deluxe Kamen Rider O's key set to tie into the crossover movie Superhero Tyson. This film saw the Gokaiju team transforming into the different combo forms of the Titcher the Rider, as well as unlocking the secret O sound programmed into the original Mabirates. The deluxe key sets would come to an end in August of 2012, as the final two being released were for Abba Ranger and Maja Ranger. The Legend Candy Toy line would return in August 2012 with set 2. This one also included a number of re-releases, with the exception of the new Denji Blue Key, who would be released again with the remaining members of his team in November's Legend Gashapon Set 3, alongside Time Green and Dyna Black, the rest of the Jet Man, and the rest of the Live Man. Starting with this set going forward, the Go Busters keys included would now have metallic painted visors to make them slightly different than all of the versions you were likely stuck with by this point. However, 2012 was starting to wrap up. Now the 37th Super Sentai series, Juden Sentai Kyoyuger, was around the corner, including the new gimmick item, the Judenchi. This meant Ranger Keys were on their way out, and they were close to completing. The last deluxe item for the Ranger Key toy line was the Super Sentai Robo Cockpit display item in November 2012. That, in a similar fashion to Mahalkin, allowed for Keys to look like they were piloting a Sentai Mecha. This toy interacted with the Keys like the Mobirates did to read the names of the Sentai Robos, and included a metallic Aka Ranger key. The final Legend Candy Toy set, set 3, was released in December 2012 with a repeat of BJ Stag, an upgraded from Gashapon Princess Shink and Red, Gokai Christmas, and the exclusives Time Blue and Mammoth Ranger. Gashapon set 4 would also complete Ju Ranger, Car Ranger, and Time Ranger, as well as including the Core 5 Cock Ranger team. The final Gashapon sets to release were the Metallic O set, the first and only retail Gashapon set to feature painted chest details. January 2013 was the end of the retail Ranger Key toy line, with Legend Gashapon set 5 including the 30th anniversary version of Aka Red and completing the Change Man, Bio Man, and Five Man teams. But even after all of these sets over two years, not every team was complete, and that's where Premium Bandai had to take over to finish it off. Ranger Keys had already seen a Premium Bandai release before, as in 2011, a special set of pre-stickered Gashabon Keys were released as the one-click set, which were versions of the keys with buttons on the side that allowed for an auto-flip gimmick like the ones seen in the show. To complete the lineup of the Super Sentai 199 was Ranger Key Set Legend Edition, a massive 30 key Premium Bandai exclusive set with the remaining members from Goggle 5, Mask Man, Turbo Ranger, Die Ranger, O Ranger, Mega Ranger, Ginga Man and Go Go 5 that were missing from every previous release before. My favorite thing about the Ranger Keys is their form. While Power Rangers figures change sizes throughout the years, Ranger Keys had a consistent style. If you collected them all, you could technically have an action figure of every Ranger ever. Honestly, it's still my life's dream to get them all and recreate the legendary war. Early 2013 was the release of the Go Busters vs. Go Kaijer film, which included a number of new keys seen only in this movie, which got a release in the Premium Bandai Ranger Key Set Movie Edition, including the five Phantom Ranger keys, the remaining buddy roids to go with the previously released Beat J Stag, the greater power of the Go Busters key, and the new type of Mecha keys, with these and two of the buddy roids changing up the design of the typical key to make it work for different shaped characters and suits. 
While these were based off of Gashapon styled keys based off of the hinge, they were fully painted and required no assembly besides the key mode stickers. In April 2013, alongside the release of Superhero Tyson Z, was Ranger Key Set Complete Edition. This included the Metal Hero Ranger Key seen in the film, just like the Comrade O's ones from the year before. This set included the Metal Hero franchise characters Jan Person, Jiraiya, Jaban, Draft Rider, Blue Beat, and Bee Fighter Kabuto, as well as two secret keys from Kaka Ranger and Abba Ranger, later seen in the final release to be a new Toyline exclusive Ninja Man key and the Abare Pink key seen very briefly in Gokaiger. Also included in the final release was a duplicate set of Metal Hero keys done up in a super shiny chrome paint. With this set being labeled Complete Edition, this truly was the end of the Ranger Key toy line after two whole years. Y you know it isn't. We have never had any collectible line ever reach that many Rangers. I mean, we, we had the Chogokin Rangers, but that didn't cover everybody at the time. No, no cross series toy line ever came close to the collectability that the Ranger Keys had. I mean, yeah, sure, they're not articulated figures by any stretch of the imagination, but man, they just, everyone was there. And that, that was everything for a Ranger fan, for a Super Sentai fan. The reason why I really like the Ranger Keys is because I think it's the ultimate form of showing a ranger. Like you have different things like with Zenkaija where you're showing the gears and it's got a picture, but you have the ability to show your favorite ranger. So if I wanted to turn into this one, all I do would have to flip it, put it in the Mobirates and I would turn into that ranger as well as have the actual powers of that ranger. And that, that's what I think is really cool because I feel like that you can't get any better than that. And I feel like Toye themselves have gone, oh well we can't do anything more. Akiba Rangers. These Sentai offshoot rangers had previously got a fake ranger key set shown off for them during a merch display, but in May 2013, it was revealed that they would be getting a real actual ranger key set released on Premium Bandai. This would be a 5 ranger key set with the core team and both season appearances for the female suits. Though to keep with the theme of the Akiba Rangers being an unofficial Sentai, these keys were designed with key pieces too thick to fit into any of the Ranger Key toys released before, making them purely display items. With all these key sets being announced left and right for Premium Bandai, it meant Ranger Keys would still be releasing late into 2013. So why not make the current Sentai team as well? So in October 2013, a Kyoryuger set was announced to include all 10 members of the team, as well as both genders of Kyoryu Violet, a Kyoryu Red Carnival Key, the first power-up form to get one, and a secret key later revealed to be for Torin. Since even the Legend of Byrates would not be compatible with these keys at this point, the set included special key slots similar to the ones seen in the Gokaiju weapons that had a unique sound for each key. When announced, the set was slated for a March 2014 release, meaning Ranger keys would be heading towards their third anniversary of still coming out. By this time, Bandai America had already kicked off their own version of the Ranger key toy line for their Gokaiju adaptation, Power Rangers Super Mega Force. But we are not here to talk about those ones. Yet. February 2014 saw the next set reveal for Kyoryuger, because when you have a popular gimmick item and one of the most popular Sentai on the air, you keep going crazy. This time it was the Deboss Villain Generals from the series, which in order to create the look of monster keys, it required a fusion of both the normal and mecha key styles to make it work. Some of these ended up being so top heavy that stabilization pieces were included to peg into the feet of the keys. Of course, some actual rangers would still be appearing in the set, with Death Ryuger, the female Kyoryu Cyan, the modern era Kyoryu Grey, and the secret Kyoryu Navy. Just like the first Kyoryu set, these two would also come with key slots for sounds. And with this set's release in mid-2014, ranger keys would take their longest break at this point, as Japanese ranger keys would not see another set announcement for 18 months. August 6, 2015 saw the reveal of the return of ranger keys, Teased a few days prior was the new Lost Edition key set, which would return to a number of previously completed teams to give them some of their more obscure members. Decca Bright and Gold from Decca Ranger, X1 Mask from Mask Man, Hurricane Dark from the Hurricane Drew 10 Years After film, and the complete Dobutsu Sentai Go Busters team were included, as well as a secret key from Go Sager, which ended up being a key for Go Sage Green, the ranger who appeared very briefly in a flashback in the original series as a neck down photoshop of the Go Sage Blue suit without even his own helmet. So the ranger key set had to give him one, as both the key and the box art for the set made a big deal of finally completing this ranger's design after five years. 
but if you thought this was going to be the end, Premium Bandai was about to release their biggest set ever, as teased at the end of the Lost Edition announcement was a promo for Tokyuger, being revealed the following month to be for Ranger Key Set Rainbow Edition, and this is where Bandai went completely off the rails. Not only would this set include all 7 Tokyujers, but every single color transfer change seen in the series for each Ranger was present as well. So was the Safari Mode seen in their summer movie, Toku Ichigo of Darkness seen in the final arc of the series, Toku Rainbow from the final episode, and even the negative 100 and 0 numbers seen in a random one-off episode. This massive 40 Ranger Key set was, and still is, the biggest set ever released for the Ranger Key toy line, which of course meant it retailed for nearly $300. And in the same vein as the Kyoju sets, this one would have a key slot with sounds, but only one was included for this set. How about more Metal Heroes? In November 2015, a random announcement out of nowhere was Ranger Key Set EX Metal Hero Edition, including the Space Sheriffs Gavon, Shirevon, and Shider, Gavon Type G, and the other remaining Metal Hero franchise leaders not included in 2013's Complete Edition, such as Spielbon, Metalder, Fire, Soul Braver, and Swat Show. When Rainbow Edition was released, it was discovered a secret sound was placed in the key slot that the set included that referenced the Ninja coming up next. This would take a while to pan out, but finally, in September of 2016, to celebrate the return of Gokaiger in the 2000th episode of Super Sentai, airing during Juoger, was the announcement of Ranger Key Set 2000th Edition. By this point, so many toy exclusive keys had been released for the post Gokaiger Sentai teams that some of them were finally made canon when they were used on screen in the episodes by the Gokaigers. However, in the case of the Kyoujer and Tokyuger keys, the toys for them had only been released in premium Bandai sets before, so to make it easier for fans to get the keys seen on screen, re-releases of the Kyoju Pink and Toku Yango keys used in the episode were included in the new set, along with the entire Shuriken Sentai Ninja team, having all the different versions of Aka Ninja and even Mido Ninja from their V-Cinema film. This set released in February 2017, and a review of it was one of the first videos I ever made on this channel. For a while, this seemed to be it. No new sets were announced in 2017, 2018, 2019, or 2020, as Sentai still continued to keep going on with Juoger, Q Ranger, Blooper Ranger vs. Pata Ranger, Ru Soldier, and Kira Major. However, 2021 was the 10th anniversary for Gokaiger, and Bandai was not about to let this opportunity pass. The new film 10 Gokaiger was revealed to be released in the fall, and to go along with it, the Ranger Key toy line would be making a return with two new releases. First up, the Memorial Edition of Byrats, packed with new voice phrases from the cast, music from the show, a display stand, a bunch of new sounds, and a whole new set of Gokaiger keys that was similar to the one-click set of the past that could auto-flip, but with a less obvious button this time. To go with it was also the Memorial Edition 35 Red set, including all of the Red Rangers from Go Ranger through Go Sager, as well as the 35th anniversary version of Aka Red. However, the only actual new key shown off was the brand new Gokai Galleon key to be released with the Blu-ray of the film in March 2022. This brand new type of key would unlock the power-up scene in the film and had a brand new unique shape. Not long after the announcement, it was confirmed that the new Memorial Mobirates would in fact be updated to include voice phrases for the 10 Sentai series that aired after Gokaiger, filling speculation that Ranger keys would continue once more. And once more they did, as in late August 2021, the Memorial Edition after Gokai set was revealed for a March 2022 release. This new set would include the new auto flip gimmick for Red Buster, Kyoyu Red, Toku Ichigo, and Aka Ninja, but also include the very first ever release for Juo Eagle, Shishu Red, Lupin Red, Pazarin Ichigo, Russo Red, Kirame Red, and Zen Kaiser. Ever since then, at the time of making this video, that is where the Ranger Key toy line for Gokaiger comes to a close. Here on the Toku Toy Line series, I like to cover toy lines that are not likely to be returned to, not likely to have new items released for them. And while things have been quiet for a few months, there can still be more to come for this incredible, long-lasting gimmick item line. Not only was Gokai Silver and his Gokai Cellular mysteriously missing from all these new releases, but a Kirame Silver Key was featured prominently in the Ten Gokaiger film that is yet to get a toy release of any kind, and the reveal of the 2022 46th Super Sentai series Avataro Sentai Don Brothers and their new Red Ranger Don Momotaro, could Bandai have something else up their sleeve once again? Well, only time will tell. Bandai Japan Go Kaiju Ranger keys lasted longer and continue to last longer than I think anyone ever would have expected them to. They are my favorite Tokusatsu toy line, 
and I was ecstatic to see them finally return after so long. There's a lot of Ranger Keys that I really like, but one that comes to mind right now is Gokai Christmas Ranger Key. It's super unique. I love the idea of it, of getting Gokai Reds and Greens keys and combining them. Actually, when I first got the Gokai Christmas Ranger Key, I actually was able to get it at a Japanese supermarket uh, that's close to my parents' house back in America. And I bought it and I remember showing my dad and my dad was like, really, there's a Christmas Ranger? <laughs> like he was really surprised to see the Christmas Ranger, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's a good moment for me as far as Ranger Keys go. While I love any Ranger Keys, I think my favorite has to be Rear Ranger from Die Ranger. Gokai just showed me that there are more teams than I could imagine, and I especially like the mysterious vibe of the Die Ranger suits. Toki your Rainbow Key. That's, it's, one, it's just adorable. Like, it's, it's, it's really well made. And I would say uh, the Gosei Green Key and the Ninja Man Key are probably uh, two of my favorites. But one of the things that I really loved like getting to do was customizing some of these keys for myself. The stuff that they were never able to release. Or modifying uh, the 6th Ranger Keys, the Gold and Silver Keys, to be metallic. That was some of my, some of my favorite keys are the stuff that I was able to do that with. I generally do think that you will not be able, in gimmick-wise, of all of Super Sentai, be able to beat the Ranger Keys because you're embodying the entire part of the, the, the franchise into it. So I feel like no matter what you do, not unless you either do the same thing later on, but then you're copying it. I feel like you can't produce this much, but I do think that it is a constant moneymaker when it comes to um, merchandise with Super Sentai. I feel like you could easily bring out a set every year of the team or a big giant box and people would buy it because it's collecting it. I have to give a huge thank you as well to the fellow Tokusato YouTubers that appeared in this video to share their thoughts on the Ranger Key toy line. I will be leaving links in the description below to their Twitters and YouTube channels, so be sure to check them all out. And until next time, let's see what you got Bandai, are Ranger Keys truly done? Be sure to follow me on Twitter at LiveRangerKey or at LightningFigPR. And until then, Gokai Change!